Hey guys, Michael Stidwell from Stidwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a 1992 Baldwin L. Uh, we love getting Baldwins in. Um, you know, they don't come with these huge sticker prices that Steinways come with, yet they're still handmade American pianos, and in our opinion, the same caliber as a Steinway. Um, this particular one has a really, really pretty flawless walnut finish. It does feature the uh, AccuJust hitch pins, which is what makes Baldwins um, so unique. Um, what these are, by the way, and this is what um, Baldwin invented this and patented this a while back, but in a normal piano or any other piano, these hitch pins would be angled, kind of like this. And why we do that is that that will pull this string loop all the way down and wedge it between the plate and the pin itself. On an AccuJust hitch pin, they go up and down, which allows the technician to move this string up or down on the pin itself, which will then put more pressure on the bridge or less pressure on the bridge, thus pushing the power and the sound and the vibrations into the soundboard more when you pull the string down further. Um, and in turn, you can push this up a little bit and release some of that pressure on um, the bridge itself. Uh, also, these Baldwins all have wet sand casted plates, just like every other handmade American piano. Uh, but that's the basics about what we like about uh, the piano. Let's uh, take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so now that I got the uh, piano kind of taken apart, I got the action kind of halfway pulled out, and we can just pull it out all the way and take a look at it. So as we can see, um, the action is extremely clean. Uh, they even looks like they finished this upstop rail, which is interesting. Uh, but it does have a runner action. These hammers have plenty of life left in them. You can see just from the side of the hammer that there's still a ton of meat left on them. They're very nicely shaped. Um, everything is dialed in. I mean, it looks brand new from the inside. So we didn't really have to do too much to this uh, action itself. Uh, but without further ado, let's uh, hear what this thing sounds like. 